As professionals who travel often and sit for long periods of time, I'm excited to share an express routine that can help you relax your mind and restore your body. My name is Lance Breger. I'm the CEO and Executive Wellness Coach at Infinity Wellness Partners and so grateful to have a chance to work with you. I'm going to be sharing with you different stretches and poses in three different body positions. We're going to do laying, kneeling, and seated. As we're going through our different postures, breathe deeply and fully through your nose and belly, and if it feels right, close your eyes. Let's go ahead and start by laying on our back. It's one of the best things that you can do at the beginning, middle, or end of your workday to ground yourself if you're feeling stressed and to neutralize your spine and improve your posture. Lie on your back and let your floor completely support you releasing all muscular effort. Let's work on our breathing that we're gonna use throughout our routine. Remember, breathing in and out through the nose and belly. Let's do a 10 second breath. That means five seconds on the way in and five seconds on the way out. I'm gonna count with you for three of these 10 second breaths. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five full lungs and slowly let it out. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five full lungs and let go. Five, four, three, two, one. Last one, everyone. Full and deep as possible. Inhale, one, two, three, four, Five, and as you exhale, let your body relax. Five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna continue that breathing pattern for the rest of our routine. Now we're gonna move into a hamstring stretch, which can help lengthen the back of the thighs that get short and tight when our knee is bent in a seated position throughout the day. We're gonna put our hands onto our left shin and we're going to activate our feet meaning pulling the toes and feet back towards the body draw the knee into the chest and let's take those three 10 second breaths together close your eyes if it feels right and as you exhale see if you can pull your knee a little bit closer in inhale one two three four five and exhale five four three two one inhale Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Great job. Bring that foot back down to the floor, scoot it out so it's straight, and switch sides by holding on to the front of the right shin and drawing the right knee in towards the body. Activate the feet, and let's take your three deep breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Final one. Inhale. And exhale. Great job. Let's straighten that leg out. Hamstrings that get short and tight can pull on the back of the pelvis, causing tension to the lower back. This is a great strategy. Now we're gonna to move to a stretch for your piriformis and gluteal muscles or the back of the hip. Cross your left ankle over your right knee, creating a figure four. Reach through, called threading the needle, through and hold on to the back of the right thigh. Lean back, draw the leg in, and let's take your three deep breaths. This is a great stretch to help relief and prevent sciatica and lower back pain as well. Activate those feet. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Final one. Inhale. And exhale. Fantastic. Uncross the leg and switch sides. Right ankle over left knee, creating the figure four. Reach through 
Hold on to the back of the thigh and lean back, feeling the stretch. Activate your feet and breathe deeply. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. You can draw the leg in a little closer if you need more stretch. Final one. Inhale. And exhale. You can uncross the legs and let's move to our kneeling position for hands and knees. We're going to make a, what's called the tabletop pose for the next series. You're going to put your hands right underneath your shoulders and knees right underneath the hips as we move into cat and cow to mobilize your spine, to send nutrition to the discs of, the, of your vertebra. Let's push in to the mat, round our back, tuck your chin, and breathe fully and deeply into your entire back of your body, performing the cat. Let's do three deep breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Reverse the curve of your spine by arching your back, bringing your chin to the sky. You're going to feel a stretch through your abdominals and the front of the neck this time. Pull the mat back towards you, raise your gaze, and take your three deep breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Great job. Now we're going to move into child's pose, which is a stretch for our inner thighs, lower back, as well as our lats, shoulders, and chest. Walk your hands out in front to make the shape of a Y or a V. Sit back onto your heels and drop your chin, uh, your chin and forehead towards the floor. Crawl and reach your fingertips a little bit away from the body and take your three deep full breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Use your hands to bring your body back up. And now we're going to move to our low lunge to stretch out the hip flexors in the front of the pocket area of your pants or shorts. This area gets short and tight because we're sitting for 13.5 hours per day. Place your hands on the bent front knee and lean in to feel the stretch on the back thigh. You can stay right here, or if you want a little bit more of a balance challenge, you can bring your hands towards the sky. Choose the position that works best for you, and take your three deep breaths. Inhale. After your third breath, push into the foot and switch by bringing your right leg back and left foot out in front. Choose your hand position and lean into the front knee until you feel the stretch on the back thigh. Stay right here as you take your three deep breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Push into your front foot. Bring that knee back and come on down to seated pose. Just notice 
if you're already feeling a little bit better in your mind or your body. When we use stretching and breathing to reduce resting muscle tension in the body, it sends a signal up to our brain to lower the activation in the stress center. So that's how we use breathing and stretching in the body to help relax the mind. We're going to finish with three different poses in the seated position. We're going to start with the butterfly stretch, which is great for your inner thighs. You're going to bring the soles of your feet together and hold on to the tops of the feet like you're holding on to a book. The closer you bring your heels or feet towards your body, the more stretch you're going to get. You can also rest and push down onto your inner thighs with your elbows if you want a greater stretch. Stay right there, raise your chest and spine, and let's take our three deep breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Fantastic. Let's cross the legs again and now move to the neck, which can carry a lot of tension and tightness. Here's a great stretch. Place your fingertips on the mat and bring your left ear to your left shoulder. Let's take three deep breaths as you feel the stretch along the side of the neck. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Final one, inhale. And exhale. Go ahead and switch sides, slowly bring your head to center. Left fingertips to the mat, and right ear to right shoulder. Inhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And let it go, exhale. Slowly bring your head to center and hands to your knee. Great job. Congratulations on getting through our express routine. Just take a second to notice how do you feel in your mind? Your body? How about your mood or your energy? If you found that you've improved even 1%, this works for you. And I invite you to continue to use it before, during, or after your workday. Thanks so much for participating today.